So what we're going to do here is install the ID Fix utility. What ID Fix does is track down and identify any potential issues within Active Directory that are going to produce headaches for us when we try to sync over to Office 365. So what I've done on your screen here is logged into my domain controller and I've searched for ID Fix. What I'm going to do here is just simply click on the ID Fix tool and we'll download it. And we'll save it here. And it's a pretty simple tool. And once I've extracted it here, I'll just run it. There's no installation that happens. Let's get past the privacy statement here. So here is the starting screen with the ID Fix tool. What we want to do is simply click Query. And what this does is it queries our Active Directory to find anything that could be a problem for our synchronization. And as you can see on your screen here, there's quite a bit here that it's discovered. If we look at the errors that are listed here, they're all listed as top-level domain. If we look at the attributes that it's calling out, we can see that, for the most part, we have issues with our user or principal name and our proxy addresses. Scrolling over, we can see the values that it's picked up, and we can see that we have an SMTP address of confirm a at shellpublishing.local, jfisher at shellpublishing.local. You see all these .local addresses? These are a problem. Because Office 365 doesn't support non-routable domain names, this stuff here isn't going to sync over. So what we're going to have to do is address these issues before we attempt to sync our users over to Office 365. Now you can address these issues in one of two ways. You can address them from the ID Fix tool itself, or you can do what I do and go in and with a little more control, address these within Active Directory. Now there will be cases where this tool picks up other issues other than proxy addresses and user principal names, but by and large, these are the issues it's going to see in a typical environment. Now, the reason it's picking up these shellpublishing.local SMTP addresses is because that's the default name for the Active Directory. And when Exchange was installed, it automatically assessed the environment and created this email address based on the Active Directory domain. Nobody's using these .local addresses for email, so we're going to have to address those. And the same thing goes for this user principal name. Since the Active Directory is called shellpublishing.local, everyone's user principal name is user at shellpublishing.local. Because we're going to sync our users over to Office 365 and use their UPNs for their logins, this has to change also. So to address these issues here, we're going to do it through Active Directory. In the next lesson, we'll cover the remediation of these issues.